Hi, I'm Steve Walters with American Photonics. I'm going to show you zinc selenide and show you the different types of zinc selenide. Okay, zinc selenide, this is actually zinc selenide, and it's made in a reactor. And when they do that, they grow it at, uh, with hydrogen selenide gas and evaporated zinc. Inside a reactor, which may be the size of, uh, maybe the half the size of a bus inside. And they have plates, and they, they put graphite all over it, which is why this is black. The black graphite makes it so you can get the zinc selenide off of, uh, out of the reactor and then machine it. Uh, after that, so we'll, we'll get it, we might get it like this. And this is as deposited, it's, it has like an alligator skin to it, and we've ground away the black, and from there we're going to process it for inspection. This is the piece that was still, you can see how the alligator skin is there, and we've now uh, ground and polished both sides. We'll take that to a microscope and we will analyze that for any inclusions or impurities, its clarity, and then we might grade it. Uh, we've done this for manufacturers of zinc solenite in the United States before, and uh, we've, we can do that pretty easily. This is the right color. This is pretty clear here. Over here, this is actually not laser grade in this area, and that's the kind of thing you'll see when you, when you pour everything out of a reactor. Now this is a piece that came out and, it, and it's basically, this is indicative of what I see a lot coming out of China. This would not be laser grade, although it is the right color, but you can see my hand through it, it's not, just not as clear. So it wouldn't be, uh, it'd be more of a FLIR grade and FLIR being for uh, infrared cameras. But this is used a lot for low power. I guess they, they feel, well it does work. I, I see it used all the time and people are relatively happy with it, so I know that it does work. Um, this is some zinc solenite I've gotten here. This is all, this is yellower. It's very clear. Um, I have, haven't seen this a lot in, in, in this low power, but this has higher zinc content and it'll be, it'll be harder. So it'll be, have a little more strength to it and more durable. This is again, uncoated. Once coated, the lens is only as, as hard or as strong as the coating on it. So, but this is, this is a nice piece of zinc, but we'll only use this for, um, again, camera work. This is typically how we get our zinc. This is perfect, 8,000 watt, crystal clear, the color's right, the concentration of zinc, selenium, and the growth of this crystal is correct. And it's, uh, again, we might look and find inclusions in here and separate those and pull those out. And, and just for some, fun, this is actually the biggest piece of zinc solenite we have in our factory. It's 33 millimeters thick. It's, it's been sitting on my shelf for a while, so it's kind of reddish, more red. Now, sometimes zinc comes out this red, but it becomes red like this. And if I were to put this in a machine and give this a pre fresh polish and take maybe a millimeter off both sides, it would probably come out a lot lighter because it's just a selenium uh, oxide that's formed on the, on the outside of this crystal that gives it that darker color, like anything like a patina or, or oxidation of anything. Zinc selenide also oxid oxidizes over years. So um, that's zinc selenide from American Photonics. Thank you very much.